blessed day guys and peace be upon you this morning so in this video we're going to learn how to configure here grp version 6 routing for ipv6 so we're going to learn how to configure EIGRP for ipv6 okay all right so i'll open a google spreadsheet and let you know that today we're in number 19 but two EIGRP for ipv6 routing right okay so without any further ado i'll open our our notepad to let the steps that we're going to follow uh to uh, tackle this problem ipv6 plus eigrp so the first step is always to draw the necessary topology we decorate and comment so as you can see here i have been using this same topology to configure static routes for ipv6 rip rip for rip and g for ipv6 so today we're going to use the same topology to configure um eigrp version 6 okay all right so you can see i'm just using a 2911 router three of them and 2960 access switches okay and we are, we want to uh have a scenario whereby we achieve communication between site a and site b using ipv6 okay and we have to implement routing protocol between these three routers and the routing protocol that we're gonna implement here is eigrp v6 okay all right so uh the second step is to uh enable global uh ipv6 global routing or forwarding in all the routers so before you uh you configure IP, ipv6 addresses or implement any routing protocol always make sure that your first step is to enable ipv6 routing or global forwarding okay all right so i did very very fast save time so when i go to this router here come to cli say no i uh, enable and config t and just say uh ipv6 uh unicast routing that's all so i do the same for uh for these two routers very very fast save time all right so i've, I've enabled ipv6 routing in all these routers so the third step is to configure ipv6 addresses to the routers interfaces and include both link local and gua so guys basically we want to scenario whereby uh each interface we can we configure with both link local and global unicast address so in the case of EIJP, each interface this interface and this interface will have both uh global unicast address and link local so for example for this interface i want to have a link local address of uh, because the link local address will be used for neighbor formation okay so that's why i want to include it here so just say fair 80 uh, double colon let's say um hmm. so here i'll use let's say let's say eight okay so this one would be like uh the route id here so on this side it will be for eight uh, uh nine okay so and uh i want this one to be fair seven fair double uh, double colon six here okay all right so that's the link local here that's the link local here uh that will be the link local address there and finally this one will be the link local address here okay all right so i'll begin uh configuring ipv6 addresses in all these interfaces so i'll demo i'll demonstrate with one then for the rest i do very very fast save time so let's start with this interface gig01 so gig01 will have uh, an ip address in this network and take this link local address so i'll just go here and i just say uh huh. i just say interface uh, gig zero slash one zero slash one okay then the first thing no shut turn it up okay all right so uh ipv6 ipv6 address link local is fair 80 double colon one okay all right oh sorry then specify that this is a link local address that's all 
Then now, global unique address. Global unique address will be this network, will be in this network. So I just copy all of this network. Just copy all of that network and come and paste here. Okay. Then the IP address now will be IPv6 address will be let's take let it take the two uh, I mean color double colon one okay or that's all. Then we go to this interface which is a uh, gig zero zero. So gig zero zero we take IP address IPv6 address from the in this network and the link local address of this one okay. So it's just the same thing. The what I do I just copy this network and uh, fair eighty double colon eight I can master that. So we go to gig zero zero. So gig zero zero, no shut, turn it up. Then configure a link local which was fair eighty eight double colon eight. Change this to eight that way. Okay. Then now global unique address will be uh address will be I paste that one and let's take uh let's take uh uh huh double colon one okay Too good exit and do that so guys what i've done on this com on this uh, router here i will do it the same on this router and this router okay i believe i've demonstrated enough to help you now to configure ipv6 address both uh link local and global unique address so i do it very very fast to save time okay Okay guys, so I've done uh, IPv6 configuration on the router's interfaces, both link local and global unicast address. So if you can just go here and say, uh, if you can just go here and say, uh, do show IPv6 interface brief. You can see the interfaces are here. Gig00, zero zero, it has uh, those two. IPv6 address, the same applies to Gig01. Okay, okay, all right. So, uh, the next thing as power notepad, you can see it's uh, it's configuring IPv6 on the computers. So, guys, basically, being that this interface is IPv6 enabled, all the connecting computers can get ipv6 address they can use a method that's called slack stateless address auto configuration to get ipv6 address okay being that this is um this interface is the uh, ipv6 enabled okay so we use what's called stateless uh, dcp v6 server okay so when you go here as long as you enable that interface and you've configured a PRS, these computers will get IPv6 address. You can see they have gotten IPv6. So I can just go back to static. You see IPv6 request successful. So even on this side also, we can just verify. You can see. You can go back here and come back. Oh, where is the link local address? This one. I made a mistake somewhere. Let me just see where I made a mistake. Oops, you see here. I made the link local address to be fair eight, so I'll just correct it. So it's a gig zero one. Uh huh. Then I say no, no to this first. No, that one. Okay. Then now I, I configure it correctly. I change this to three. Exit. Do right. So when I go back here and pp configuration come back to static and go back to automatic you can see it's now for 80 double point three okay all right so um hmm. so what's next now configure eigrp version 6 and test communication guys this video was made for eigrp okay so we need to configure eigrp in each router to enable communication between the remote networks okay all right so we let's start with this router just come here and what i'm gonna do you just say ipv6 ipv6 router 
EHRP. Let, let the router uh, know that it's using EHRP as the routing protocol. And when you try to query here, autonomous system number, you can use any number. Let me use just 45. I like 45 as the autonomous system number. But you can use any number from 1 to 65,535. Okay? All right. After this one, after this one, make sure at least you give the router ID. Although, uh, the router will be using the link local to form the neighbors. But just give it a router ID. Uh -huh. The first thing, give it the router ID. Just say e EHRP uh, router ID to be, let's say, 1.1.1.1. That's all. Then, you have to turn up this this EIGLP with the data autonomous system number because uh, it's always in shutdown state. Just say no shut. Okay, that's very, very important. That's very, very important in IPv6. Okay, make sure you turn up the IPv6 router EIGLP with that autonomous system number. Okay, now you go to each individual interface and enable EIGLP. So let's say interface gig. 0 slash 0, uh, just say IPv6, uh, EIGRP uh, 45, okay, that's all, you just go back, then go to gig01 and say EIGRP, IPv6, EIGRP 45, that's all, that's all I'll configure EIGRP in IPv6, okay, so let's do the same here, so when you come here again, when you come here again, we just say IPv6 a router router EIGRP EIGRP trauma system up to be 45. Okay, then EIGRP EIGRP route ID to be let's say 2.2.2.2. So basically, now let's test communication. We've configured IPv6 here. I mean EIGRP with IPv6. Even if I can just go here and say, show uh, IPv6 EIGRP neighbors. You can see there are two neighbors. One neighbor is uh, one neighbor is um, fair fair eighty eight and fair eighty seven. So fair eighty eight is this one. Fair eighty seven is this one neighbors to this router here so let's come test communication i'm going to try to ping from this side to this side so let me take the pv6 address of this uh this computer come here you can see the pv6 address is very long so to get it easily just come go to command prompt and say ip config okay and copy it copy this one don't copy link local because they there will be no communication so just come to this one. Link local is used for local communication. So paying that IPv6 address. So you can see our communication is going successfully. All right. So basically, guys, I believe this video has really helped now to configure EHRP plus IPv6. And I'll mark that section as done. Bye, guys. Please subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Share with friends. And let's see you again in the next video. Bye.